from United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. Look offshore at any port in the world, and you can see the superhighway of international commerce. Some 500 million containers move across the globe each year. Less than 2% of these are inspected, and that could be a big mistake. We live in a globalized world, where everything keeps moving from one place to the other. Pierre Lapac is a director at the United Nations Office of Drugs and Crime. And criminals have quickly identified that it's a beautiful market opportunity. Every day, criminal trafficking networks outsmart the system. But efforts are underway to catch them. Teaming up on the front line of that fight is the World Customs Organization and the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, UNODC. Together, they've launched an offensive, setting up operations in some 30 ports in 17 countries across the globe. Using a combination of the latest high-tech equipment, human intelligence, and good old-fashioned hands-on techniques, like the container control program. We are looking for risk indicators. Where the container is coming from, who is shipping it, which port is it coming from? Is it a first-time importer? Edmund Landy Tay, once a high-ranking police officer with 16 years in Ghana's narcotics police, heads the container control program here in Ghana. Uh, Prince, if when the team identifies a shipment of, of computer parts that just arrived from a country with a history of exporting counterfeit goods, they spring into action. The counterfeit. There is a way that this thing should, should change but it must change up and down. When you turn it this way, this must be lighter and this must be darker. It's a seizure worth thousands of US dollars. It is exciting. Once you are able to make seizures, you know that you are on the right path and you just need to do more to get more results. Over the years, they've intercepted containers full of machetes, narcotics, weapons, and counterfeit drugs. Yao Akrasi Sarpong, head of Ghana's narcotic board, warns that once the drugs enter the region, they spread in an instant. You can drive and your vehicle will not be searched once. I see it just as the beginning. You also have to be concerned about what can be next, because this game, this dirty game of hide and seek is happening every day. It's this kind of vigilance that's required 100% of the time to stop illegal trafficking across vulnerable borders worldwide. This report was produced by Stephen Schnee for the United Nations.